Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this very simple everyday smoky eye. I asked you in my last video what type of looks you wanted to see and I had quite a few for matte smoky eyes, everyday smoky eyes, smoky eyes for work, things of that sort. So I kind of combined all of those and created this very simple wearable look. So if you want to see how to do it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're starting out with absolutely nothing on our eyes. I just did my brows. I'm gonna go in and prime. This is, to me, a really crucial step because it's going to really even out that base. So that way when you go in with your eyeshadows, they look a lot smoother, they're a lot more pigmented. And if you have like discoloration and like veins visible on your eyelid, you will not be able to see that through your shadow. And I've been using the Sigma Beauty Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Persuade. I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that all over the lid. And then, as always, I'm going to buff that out with my Zoeva 142 brush, making sure to get over to this inner corner where most people have the most discoloration, as well as bringing it out towards this outer corner. When I think of a smoky eye that you can wear every day, I wouldn't think of something that is too warm toned or too cool toned, more of just like a neutral brown smoky eye, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but you can use whatever you have. Here's what that looks like. I'm gonna be using pretty much these and all of these matte shades right here. I'm gonna start out with that shade transition. With a Sigma E35 brush, I'm gonna start by stamping that color into my crease and then I'm going to start doing back and forth motions to blend it out. This honestly isn't much darker than my skin tone, but it's gonna allow the eyeshadows to blend it really easily. If you're wanting to do a more warm tone look, you can even use your bronzer for this. Next, I'm gonna take that shade crease and with a Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to start by stamping that on the outer corner just to really place that color and then start to diffuse that up into the crease. I'm just going in with a little bit more. I like to do the stamping motion first because it just prevents fallout because you're packing on all that color and then you're diffusing it. However high you take it into your crease is completely preference. I always say I have a lot of space from my crease to my brow, so I like to take my eyeshadows up a little bit higher but if you have less space, then keep it down pretty low and use smaller brushes. And now I'm gonna take the shade Smoke. With a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. We're gonna start keeping these lower shades, or these darker shades lower. That way it keeps it a little bit more wearable and better for every day. So I'm doing just kind of the outer corner, dragging it inwards on the lash line area. And you can see I'm just doing patting motions for this. Before I blend that out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. Okay, now that my concealer is on, I'm going to take that same smoke shade. I'm going to go ahead and run it on that lower lash line. The reason I'm doing this now is because I want to connect out here on this outer corner. So you want to use a tiny brush for this and just do little stamping motions. I'm going to take this brown shade like, I don't know, halfway in. And I'm just kind of keeping this a little bit more rounded as well. And now with a Sigma E27 brush, which is a little bit smaller than the E25, I'm going to start blending everything out. And I'm still using that crease shade. So I'm just using the lighter color to blend out the darker color. So you can see I'm just kind of looking forward into my monitor. That way I know kind of where this is sitting when my eyes are open. And then now with that E25, I'm going to diffuse everything out. I have no product on my brush. I'm also going to blend out this little part right here. The biggest thing for an everyday smoky eye is you want no harsh lines at all. Okay, now I'm going to take all the shades and kind of create a gradient on the lid. So with a Sigma E57 brush and that transition shade, which was that lightest one, I'm going to pack that on the inner third. This isn't as bright as like a white or a cream, but you can definitely do a brighter one if you prefer. I'm going to take it all the way to this inner corner. And now with that crease shade in the Sigma E25, I'm going to pack that in the center, blending it into transition. Okay, so here's how that's looking right now. You can definitely leave it like this. If you don't want to go any darker, you can apply just some mascara. You can do lashes, whatever you want to do. I'm going to take it one step further, make it a little bit darker, but still not too dark so you can wear it every day. And for that, I'm going to take the shade Lash Line. And I have that applied to a Sigma E15 brush. So if you take a look at this brush, it's just a pinched little short shader brush. And I just have that product right on the very tip of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down into my mirror. I'm going to stamp this across the lash line. I'm going to go all the way across, just kind of stamping. 
I also want to get this inner corner right here. So you can see it's making it just a little bit smokier, but it's still not too much. And with that same shade and that same brush, I'm going to stamp it on that very outer third. I do want to diffuse that out because again, no harsh lines. So I'm taking that E27 with no additional product. And we're going to very lightly kind of diffuse everything. Okay, now for the waterline, you can do whatever you want. You can do a nude, you can do a brown, you can do a black, you can leave it bare. Honestly, it's just going to be preference for you. I'm going to go in with this Revlon Multiplayer in the shade Under the Radar. It's kind of like this light champagne-y brown. And I'm just going to apply that into the waterline. Like that so you can see it just add like very very little so something that I personally like to do to make these a little bit cleaner is I'm gonna go in with a face powder you want something that has a little bit of pigment to it so I'm gonna be using my Kosas one and you want it to be pretty similar if not a little bit lighter than your skin tone I'm just using that product and a short shader brush just to kind of press along the edge this is going to clean it up and sharpen it a little bit but not to the level of which like if we were to take a makeup wipe I'm going to pat all the way around and then slightly diffuse that out. Just a little bit cleaner, less grungy looking. For the inner corner, you can add a pop of shimmer or if you want to keep it matte, I would just go in with something a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna take Brulee by MAC. I'm just really kind of highlighting up that inner corner. And you can drag it out pretty far since it's a matte eyeshadow. And I'm gonna do that same thing under the brow with that same color. Okay, and from here, you can do just mascara, you can do lashes. I'm going to put mascara on, let you see what it looks like, but I personally would do lashes on a daily basis, so let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just popped on a light coat of mascara because I am going to do lashes, but you can see it looks just as good with mascara, so let me go pop on some lashes. For the lashes, I'm going to take Latte by House of Lashes. This is from their coffee collection. You can see it's a mixture of black and brown hairs, so I'm going to put these on and see how it looks. Here's what it looks like with just the lashes added on. This is absolutely stunning. I'm going to have to get more of these lashes because it is so natural and it doesn't feel like I have anything on at all. Here's a close-up of those lashes. You can see that mixture of the black and the brown. Okay, so I just popped on some lower lash mascara. I didn't have any brown mascara, so I just used a black, but brown would be absolutely stunning as well. But here's how that is looking. I think it's beautiful. It is a nice everyday smoky eye, completely matte. You can add some shimmer, like I said, if you wanted to. But yeah, I hope you guys like and let me know what you want to see next. And I will see you in my next video.